I'm Pete Nelson from Treehouse Workshop, and um, we work on tree houses all over the world. And the range of projects are, are uh, wide. We've done a number of large tree houses, some live aboard style, where we've got kitchens and bathrooms and the whole thing. But then we also do the, the other side of the spectrum, kids' tree houses, more simple projects, um, often a platform with a, with a roof of some kind. I think our, our real specialty, of course, is connecting to the trees, and, and that interface between the tree and the structure uh, is so important. I, I think all kids have that, that uh, urge to have a tree house in their life, you know, that little safe spot that they can call their own. And, um, and when you grow up, you, you, maybe some people lose that, but when you get a couple acres of land like this and you have all these big, beautiful trees, that, that little memory, that little warm, fuzzy feeling comes back. And um, so the idea of having a tree house is something, uh, the day we bought this property, I wanted to put a tree house on this property. And my, my two kids have been going, Dad, we need a tree house, we need a tree house. Yeah. Me and my dad have been talking about it since I was seven. And he said, not until we finish the bathroom, not until we finish the well, and then we'll do the tree house. And actually, they haven't finished the uh, bathroom yet, so we got our tree house before that. So the idea that I can give my kids that warm, fuzzy kind of safe place for them to be to, some place they can call their own, um, is very important to me. So when I get a call from a, a client, uh, many times they're not sure where to begin. and really the the trees themselves are the ultimate designers in this process so my first suggestion is that i come out and have a look um, see what sort of trees are available sometimes there's just one tree sometimes there's there's many possibilities and and opportunities one of the many things we do and offer as treehouse builders is just to build a platform um, kind of maybe our biggest specialty outside of the house, but um, just to get a structure up in a tree, you need a safe, secure, solid foundation that's appropriate for the trees that it's in, or a tree um, needs to be strong. The health of the tree is paramount. We, have, we work with some great arborists and tree biologists that have educated us over the years on this. And these platforms, we'll get a safe, sound structure platform up in the tree, and then the homeowner, owner builder, can take over at that point, you know, with some basic carpentry skills and build the home that they've always wanted to build, you know, whether it's by themselves or a project with their kids or somebody else. We just establish a safe, um, solid foundation. I, I like to do a lot of work myself, and uh, I thought about putting a tree house in um, for a while, and I thought about how I would do it. And um, I, I kept, I had a lot of concern. You know, you attach something to a tree, and the tree moves, and that thing slowly gets broken apart. So uh, I called Pete and kind of picked his brain a little bit. The more he and I talked, the more I realized that one part where it attaches to the tree needs to be done professionally. Otherwise, all that work I spend on the rest of the tree house in the next 10, 15 years is just kind of get torn apart as that tree moves in the wind. How do you go about building something that's going to be safe, you know, for the kids and for themselves, as well as for the tree? Probably the most important piece of technology that we bring to this avenue of tree house building um, is something called the tab. The tab, the tree house attachment bolt. Um, we also call it the Garnier limb, or the GL, short for Garnier Limb. Uh, it's basically a large metal bolt that we install in, or drill and install into the tree that bears the weight of the treehouse. It's a very versatile thing, and, and with our skill set, we can come in and, and take care of, of pretty much any situation that, that the trees have to offer. And these things have to be strong. Some of these structures are significant. They have to be appropriate for the health of the tree, um, not inhibit the growth of the tree, obviously not kill the tree. Um, allow the tree to still move and grow over the years. It needs to move in the wind. It needs to grow in its girth. It looks kind of scary when you go up to the tree with this big uh, drill bit and, and auger into the tree and you do create a three inch hole. Well, the strategies, they, they vary from species to species, but um, most trees are going to deal with a wound like that by sending sap and then and then putting on some reaction wood and, and basically growing around that wound. And, and where we place this tab, the treehouse attachment bolt, the tree is, is quickly repairing itself. This particular piece of hardware can keep a treehouse um, alive and functional in the trees for many, many years. I mean, we haven't even, there's who knows how long, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, because that tree can still grow and it can still move. We're not infringing the activity of that tree.
background and like skill sets, we all have individual skill sets at Trios Workshop. And kind of my biggest one that I came to the table with was um, being a rigger on sailboats and tall ships for many years. Um, and that technology is exactly what we're using in the trees to get you know, people and tools and most importantly, big heavy carrying beams that are gonna carry the load of the treehouse up in the tree. So we set ropes and blocks and pulleys and mechanical advantage and come alongs and all this stuff up in the trees in a manner to pick, you know, 1,200 pounds up and perch it on a GL. The, the way the structure was built is very important. Uh, like I said earlier, I didn't want it to fall apart. Um, I also have the most important thing in my life in there, my kids, and so I don't want this thing to fall apart when they're with, in there with their friends. So uh, it was very important that it be done right uh, and, and uh, be done right the first time. So the structure is safe, sound, and strong, and I'm very happy with what I got out of that. So yeah, my inspiration for building a treehouse, you know. And then I get it after she's done with it. So yeah, we, we had a we had a, a busy time and some heavy duty rain, but we really enjoyed ourselves and, and I know that's that's often the case is to get people started with their treehouse and do it properly and have something that's gonna last a good long time, be safe both to the people and to the tree and uh, and then on top of that platform go ahead and build your dream. Really my my main motivation in all of this is is to get people back into the woods and so i want to pass on um, the knowledge that we've gained doing this and and get people out there it's a it's a great way to get families together and friends together uh to build something and and all of a sudden you realize wow i'm in a really beautiful place and uh so that's that's what I'd like to do is just get people out into the trees.